Average CODM player. Yoink! Average arena player. If you're one of the OGs watching this channel, you might have seen this video way back, and it's been a while since I made another movement video. I was spending the day scrolling around Twitter, and I saw this clip from a COD Mobile Pro player, Marshy. So today we're gonna learn movement that's useful in today's meta, as well as some tips on how to get in and out of certain situations. For the requirements, I'll assume you're at least rocking a 3 finger HUD or a 4 finger HUD because some of the moves might require it. Also, it'll be handy to have access to good or decent internet connection because it will be important as to how enemies perceive the movement we do in game. We'll be covering different topics such as peaking movements, what to do during gunfights, and add more combinations as we move along. It's easy to preem a corner and simply stand there, but it's also a good idea to get information by jiggle peeking. With how desync works and how fast guns kill in this game, this is useful if you have a weapon with a higher movement speed, ADS or not. If an enemy slide peeks you in a corner and sees you standing like a mannequin, he'll be able to get the kill. Versus doing some jiggle peeks and the moment you see an enemy, you can fire a few shots, put yourself in the cover, and do slide peeking. This is useful for when you're anticipating an enemy in a certain spot. Having the ability to peek faster will give you a bit of time to get the kill before your character shows up on your enemy's screen, all thanks to desync. So, slight peek if you're around 60% sure that an enemy will be present and stay close to cover in order to not make the mistake of exposing yourself out in the open. As some of you said in the comments, you can accompany this by cancelling your slide using the scope in button. This will make your slide tighter and let you align your crosshair better. Jump peeking is one of the more unexpected peeking methods in this game because slide cancelling is a lot more popular. Every COD Mobile player is expecting the slide peek so most players have their crosshairs slightly below chest level. Jump peeking will place you slightly above the enemy's crosshairs adding a few milliseconds to their reaction time and if you jump peek, they have to track you in order to shoot you while you can get a few shots first and have the advantage in gunfights. This game's jump peeking distance is great, but adding a bit of speed into your jump can make you harder to track. How? Instead of jumping out of cover, how about sliding and then jumping just before you leave the cover? This will make you look faster and you'll be able to cover more ground in a single jump. You're basically slingshotting yourself as you peek. From there, you can transition into be hopping. After jump peeking, you somehow still haven't finished the jump. Don't just stand there. Be hop. Simply spam your jump button after your initial jump while moving your joystick left and right. Mix it up, go jump in different directions so your enemy won't be able to track you easily. You can also B hop towards cover if you're low on health and you feel like you're losing the gunfight. Or if you happen to peek and suddenly it's a 2v1 or a 3v1, B hopping to cover would be a good idea. Side note. Your jump peek and b-hops are as only as good as your aim. You have to practice your aim while performing these moves so you actually get the kill when you enter a gunfight. You don't get style points in this game so getting points from kills is the only way you'll know for sure that the movement you do is effective. You can head over to training mode and practice your aim while jump peeking or b-hopping from close to medium ranges. What if you combine slide peeking with jumping or b-hopping? The average player expects you to move left and right after slide peeking. So, jumping after slide peeking can make you harder to track, or you can b-hop fading away from your opponent and into cover. You can b-hop back to where you came from, or b-hop to another cover to get to safety. That's about it for peeking movements. Now what about movement during gunfights? We'll start simple. Let's talk about strafing. Strafing is simply moving your joystick left or right. You don't want to be a stationary target that's easy to take down, so moving left and right will give your enemy something else to worry about rather than just controlling recoil in order to hit their shots. Now he also needs to track you while you're moving sideways. Quick tip, rather than doing the classic left and right, have different rhythms for different gunfights. A bit of variety will keep your opponent on their toes when it comes to tracking you. You can also add crouching for when you're strafing. In case you didn't know, guns tend to kick up whenever you're firing, so if your opponent doesn't have the best recoil control in the world, you'll be able to dodge a bullet or two, saving you in certain gunfights. You can also use this if you're on a head glitch. Same philosophy, you'll be able to shield yourself from a few bullets, having the advantage in the gunfight. Now if you've landed a few bullets and you've done crouching, you can add a final move and do a drop shot. 
This is a risky technique because you won't be able to move and slide away immediately. That's why drop shotting isn't as popular nowadays because of how fast the time to kill weapons have in this game. A sneaky move I like to do mid gunfight is proning to completely cover my body, then standing back up to finish the kill. I advise you to do this with a bit more health because desync is still there, you know? Once you're fully behind cover, wait for a moment, maybe your enemy takes a reload, he tries to rush you, then stand back up to challenge. Here's how much delay you can expect before your enemy sees you standing up at full speed and slowed down at 80% speed. You're running out in the open and your enemy got to land some shots on you first. What do you do? Shoot back? Slide jump? Or get to cover? If you answered A or B, congratulations, you died. Choice C, get to cover, would be the smartest choice. Once you slide into cover, your opponent might think you're recovering and would try to rush you. You can challenge him by flicking to the opposite side and tapping the jump button immediately. This will propel you out of cover. Use this momentum to b-hop and try to get the kill when the enemy least expects it. Knowing all these movements won't make you win the gunfights automatically. Here are some tips you can do to make sure you're moving with purpose. Don't peek and expose yourself completely. If possible, keep yourself close to cover at all times and use an angle. Here's an example. Instead of peeking like this, peek like this. The better players in this game will flick to you as soon as they spot you and being closer to cover will save your butt 9 times out of 10. This is to avoid showing your whole body for you to appear as a smaller target. Whether you're sitting on a head glitch or pre-aiming around a corner, keep in mind that constantly jiggle peeking or strafing will help you dodge those initial shots from your enemy. Stationary targets are easier to kill, so do yourself a favor and make it harder for your enemy to kill you and never stop moving. The map is your friend. It's not designed purely for aesthetic, so you should know that you can actually use it to your advantage. This is just another way of saying never be in the open. Sliding cover to cover, knowing all head glitches, and having a sense of how to use your environment to get an advantage in a gunfight will make you unstoppable. The best players in the game don't rely on their gun skill or their movement only, they also use the map and the objects around them to their advantage. It's not a complete movement guide, but definitely a useful one for the current meta. I actually made this video more for me to remember to always do movement as I'm getting washed each day playing against persistence abusers in ranked. Huge shout out to Marshy for inspiring me to do this movement video. That's it for today's video, I hope you learned something along the way. I just want to say thank you so much for making this possible as I just received the silver play button for hitting 100k subscribers on this channel. I will keep delivering great content for as long as I can. As long as you like this video and if you haven't subscribed, please do so if you want more of this type of content. For today's question, I want to know, what's your go-to move in Call Mobile? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.